text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. Tick tock, you don't stop. I will help you make your paper stack. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? Two four five nine six four five two four three nine. You know two four five nine six four five two four three nine. You know. Good afternoon, good evening for Flippin' R 243. Uh, day crew, well, part, half of the day crew is in here. Uh, just uh, Jessica and I for Flippin' R 243. Uh, today's topic is... Uh, da, da, how da, much da, da. time oh. should you give your cash buyer to close? Yeah, how much time should you give cash buyers to close? That is today's topic. So uh, we're here to talk about real estate investing with a strong emphasis on wholesaling real estate where your cash, your credit does not matter. Being broke does not matter. You got the knowledge. You'll know you're there. You just got to put it in action at that point. So we're to answer your questions to hopefully get you closer to your first payday or more paydays. So, um, again, it's just Jessica and I, uh, Radika and Adrian should be back next week. Appreciate Jessica, Jessica, uh, helping out here to make this go as a smooth transition tonight. So, uh, with that being said, get some couple things out of the way. We'll do it a little more like the daytime crew. Um, so if you want to join the live text, the word Gator to the number. 205-964-5243, 205-964-5243 to jump on the uh, live stream right now. All right. Uh, make sure that uh, if you want a set of videos to basically take you through the entire process, then these are the selected videos that I've uh, put together. The second video in this um and this playlist um, is a video that I uploaded on Sunday. It's the most recent uploaded video. Uh, it's, it's, it's teaching you how to uh, take advantage of vacant lots, infield lots, how lots that are in neighborhoods. Most of you all have access to those. You can put those deals together faster than houses for a number of reasons. Um, and we would partner with you all if you follow certain uh, instructions on that. So text VIP to the number 205. 9645243. If you're on YouTube, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, but you need to take an additional step. You need to uh, tap the little bell, select all, so you are alerted when we do go live on YouTube and all, and uh, whenever I upload uh, new videos. Now, uh, the times, uh, as of right now, these are the times. Uh, we're on around 3.45 p.m. Monday through Wednesday, around 4, actually. Eastern, check local listings. And then on Thursdays, um, around 8.05 p.m. or so. Now, if you want to access that video that I was just talking about on the land of infield lots directly, you can text the word MUD, M-U-D, to the 205-964-5243 also. And um, so I don't think we got a lot of people in here. So let me send out the uh, the text message. Boom, boom, boom. How much time? Is it? Okay, boom. Uh, so I just sent that out. That'll get us a little bit more activity. Um, do we have anything else? Uh, just, yeah, think, we got somebody I, waiting in the gator room. Okay, boom. Uh, that's what's up. All right, so making sense is in the uh, gator room. What's happening, my man? What's up, bro? How you doing, man? Oh, I'm good. What about yourself? Just getting off from work, coming on here. I'm going to be late tomorrow, but I'm going to come on here anyway, and I don't care. But uh, it is what it is. I need to get this info. All right, I got you. I feel All right, you. listen. I, um, I spoke with this uh, homeowner this morning, or this afternoon, late this afternoon. Um, but I heard the questions before, previously, about uh, homeowners asking uh, to show proof of funds. Um, and, uh, and also she wanted to know, do we do, do we, uh, do we uh, do the closing? I mean, do we uh, pay for the closing costs? 
All right. So you have an owner that's uh, asking, do we, um, uh, she wants you to provide proof of funds right. and also um, asked about closing costs. Correct. Okay. So yeah, on, on the closing co cost part of it, most definitely um, you're going to uh, tell her that you're going to pay all closing costs minus any unpaid taxes, mortgages, or liens. Uh, now the proof of funds, that is not a common question from a motivated seller. I said yeah. it may be a question from a seller. There's a difference or can be a difference, but um, um, uh, well, let me, let me, let's go back to this. Uh, what are the numbers on it? Well, we even start talking about proof. Let, of me, let me give you the, uh, the address. Uh, um, all right, hold on a second. I'm not set up on it. Hold on a second. Let me share my screen. Boom. Boom. All right, what's the address? 156 South Hilton Street, Baltimore, Maryland. Be more. All right. Uh, TikTok, Instagram, we're um, about six minutes and 30 seconds in. If you want to go back and watch the replay, later on to see me uh, comp this property uh, uh, for making sense. Uh, so I'll just start at the beginning here, uh, assuming no one has ever seen this before. So ideally, uh, whenever you're comping a property, um, it's uh, proximity matters. So as you can see here, the thicker white lines, uh, do we see yellow and the thicker yellow lines, <clears throat> if poss possible, we want to stay within those boundaries. Now, in this situation, we have a lot of activity. Well, I'm sorry, I don't know if a lot of activity or not, but we this is I'm assuming this is a row house, right? Okay, right. so um, so now um ideally we want to comp properties in this area right here. Hopefully, there's some transactions in there. So as I uh, go to the details, I'm gonna go to the mortgage history. Uh last loan on here was back in 06 for 39.9. So that's been a long time ago. Uh, this person owns eight other properties, which is always interesting to look at. Um, and they live in New York. Uh, well, the mailing address is in New York. Let me say that. Right. All right. So uh, we had a lot of MLS data in here. So I like to look at that if that's an option. So uh, let's dive in here. Um, and as I expected, uh, there wasn't any activity in that area right there so i want to look at this particular property if possible so i'm going to um let me just see if zillow has anything on it first all right nothing on it okay and so let's do this uh go back up here blow up this and let's do this okay all right so that is the property right there um right. back of it so yeah it's in the uh the rear of it um so let, let's do it on the other side uh let's do it on this side uh yeah okay it needs a lot of work so yeah so okay so that's the back of so um trying to see okay so people do live in this it. yeah <laughs> these uh row houses i'm just just trying to get the visual okay. of, the, okay. of the street so um so let's let's just try to see what we can find close to it. There's no activity on that particular um, side of the street, but it is on this. Uh, uh, which which one is it on? It's on Hilton. Okay, so we do have uh, two comps here, right? Um, let me see. All right, so we have number one here that sold for ninety thousand, and then we have number three that sold for one thirty-five. Let's see if they're comparable. So, the first three things we like to look at is um, the year built, the lot square footage, and the square footage of the property itself. The year built, we like to stay in a range of ten years, so from nineteen twenty-six to nineteen sixteen would be ideal. If it's a lot older, older is not that big of a deal. If it's a lot, lot newer, newer, we prefer to stay away from those unless it's not an option, but to use that. The lot square footage, um, like standard range of 2,500 square feet, I don't see a problem with that. Then the square footage of the property itself within 200 square feet, 
Uh, in most cases, this is defaulted 15 to 20 percent uh, plus or minus. OK, so um, this property that sold in uh, August for 135 is a little bigger. Uh, it's a little bit older and it sold at ninety two dollars a square foot. All right. So if we did the math on that, uh, just to make the adjustment. So we took, uh, and so and what I'm, okay, let me explain that. So this $92.42.47 is the price per square foot, PPSF. And so what that what that actually uh, uh, means is that they took the, four, the, the 1,460 square feet and divided into what this property sold for, the 135 to come up with the price per square foot. Why is that important? Because this property is 1460 square feet and ours is 1320. So to get more of a an exact number, if we're going to use that comp, we'll just take the square footage, the price per square foot and use that. So it's like around 121 as far as a uh, ARV. Uh, so did, well, okay, so now she said she won't prove fun. But um, so now if we just go over here to the deal calculator, dealator.com, it's free. For anyone that wants to access those, we have a repair calculator and we have a uh, deal calculator here. So I'm going to pull up the uh, both of these in different windows. All right. So if the property is livable, we multiply the square footage times $25 or something like this. If it's not livable, $40. Okay. Right. So I'm assuming this is not livable. No. Okay. So it's 1240 square feet. All right. Uh, wasn't bigger than I think it was bigger than that. It was 1320 square feet. Is what it was. 1320 square feet. All right. So that's 52,000. I'll round that up to 55. All right. And so we said the ARV was around 121. So I'll put that in here. Put 55,000 in here. All right. So I'm like this trying to make at least 10 grand. Uh, that's negotiable. So just looking at the blue number here. Mm -hmm is what you'll need to get in the contract with the seller for. The black number is what you'll put it back out there to cash buyers for around 30. Okay, so that's assuming you're trying to make at least 10 grand on the deal. Right. Here's the dilemma. I'm not sure if it is, but I'm trying to see this. Yep. But yeah, here's the dilemma with her. Mm -hmm. Talk to her and she says she wants, she wants 75. Yeah, that's a huge dilemma. Big dilemma. Yeah. Yeah, she's done a lot, a lot of land. So, yeah. you know, that, that's why I'm saying it just normally doesn't uh, line up together. Motivated seller asking for proof of funds. She's not motivated. Right. You know what I'm saying? It, it, they just normally it doesn't work that way. So, right. okay, she can ask for proof of funds, but to someone else or whatever. Because, you know, that's not a deal. That's not a deal. Not a wholesale deal. It's not. Right. Right. That's cool. That's cool. One last question. Um, yeah. I'm not I'm not signed in with uh, Digger Lady and um, Digger Lady yet. So uh, you can't use the um, um, you can't use the benefits if you want to do a deal or get a contract and, and fill it out and all that stuff. You can't do that yet unless you get signed well, up, no. right? Well, no. Uh, see, uh, I guess I've done just an unbelievable. Let me let me share my screen again. Uh, I guess I've just done an unbelievable job of confusing people on uh, the difference in prop stream and deal later or batch leads and deal later. See, deal later is just Walmart, basically, right? Gotcha. And not there's anything that I know of that's free in Walmart, but there, right? Uh, mm -hmm. But here, the contracts are free. All right, mm -hmm. so here's the purchase and sales agreement for houses. Purchase and mm -hmm. sales agreement, that's free. Anybody can fill that out. You don't have okay, to be cool. signed up for anything. All right, cool. the, one, the contract for land, that's free. Anybody can mm -hmm. fill that out and as much as you want. All right. Uh, the closing detail sheet. Anybody can fill that out. Use as much as you want. The gotcha. calculators. Anybody can go ahead and use it. It's uh, free. Uh, no, there's no restrictions on it. The uh, repair estimator calculator. That's free. Anybody can use it. So, um, so prop string, prop string is not free, right? No, nah, that's a that's a that's a. I'm just an affiliate of that service. Gotcha. Right? And so, yeah, it, it's a totally different. It's a totally different coming. I'm just a partner slash affiliated reseller of it but digulator.com that's my site and so those the contracts the calculators those are free you don't have to be signed up for anything now 
a tool is, is very valuable. It can be used correctly, but obviously, you know, we were the wholesaling existed well before the internet. So uh, those tools, you know, what I'm saying, my point is those you could do without those tools. It just makes it easier if you have those. You know, we can still ride horses to wherever we want to, but cars will generally get you there faster. Got you. Yeah, I'm setting up for the prop screen. I think it's next week, I believe. Um, it right. wouldn't let me. It wouldn't let me um, go through with it for whatever reason. I talked to the rep, and she said, "Let's do it next week." So, oh, okay. I'm next week to do it. Um, that's my la my last question was. Um, uh, what when do you use the? I know you have to. You get your cash buyers after you get your properties. Cash buyers, then the cash buyers when you get that. Then you go to the title agency. When do you use, if you do use, the lawyer, the um, the closing attorney? Well, uh, when you have, have a closing to? attorney or a title company, uh, those are only used when you're ready to actually close the deal. Right. You know, so you don't really don't even worry about it until you have a seller in the contract and a buyer in the contract. That sound good. That sound good. I appreciate you, man. Appreciate you a lot. Thanks for the info. No problem at all, man. Good luck. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So we've only got one question on TikTok right now. And this came from uh Rick Nasty. He said, um, so there's one contract, so there's a contract from you to the seller. Would that be the same contract you give to the cash buyer? Uh the contract that I just showed. What, uh, read that again. I'm sorry. So basically, the contract that you signed, um, with like the purchase and sales agreement between you and the seller, is that what you give to the cash buyer? Um, no, no, you don't give them. You you you, you do a, a separate contract for the buyer. The buyer, you have a contract with the seller. With you and the seller, you'll have a contract with you and the buyer. You get the difference of those two contracts, assuming that the contract with the buyer is higher as it should be. All right. All right, let's start on YouTube. Um, hi, Jason. He commented before we even started. So I just want to say hey to him. Um, hey. this one came from Sydney A. Um, they said, Do you do you recommend a virtual number for bandit signs or using a live answering service? Um, um, well, well, if you can afford it, yeah, you want someone to be answering the phone if possible. It won't be always the case, but if it's in your budget, then yeah, most def definitely you want someone to be answering the phone. Okay. Um, this one came from, uh, Instagram. They said, hello, are you still offering the one-on-one -on -one first flip? I've been trying to contact. Not hard to reach, my man. Uh, yeah, we do offer that. That's a paid option. If you if you text me, I'll gladly send you over the uh, the freight, the cost for it. Um. Okay. Um. This one says, "Does the discount text tool still apply?" The discount text tool. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm what... thinking. Um. You know what keyword tool? What's that for? Oh, that's that's the that's the access um uh prop prop stream and the training. Okay. If you sign if you sign up through day later, we'll train you for you know how to use it uh for free. Okay. So yeah, that's still that's still a thing. All right, and then Darnell, he's in the gator room. Okay. Uh, hello. Hello, how you doing? Hey, how's it going, my man? Uh where are you live streaming from? From uh Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, what's happening? Um, not much. Um, I had a question. I'm a licensed realtor in the state of Ohio, and I might have a deal, but my brokerage company won't allow me to uh, be involved in wholesale transactions. So I was wondering, is it a way that I could get around that? Because I was thinking I might just have to close on it with a with a hard money lender and take title and then sell it. Well, well, what what that's so interesting. Um, I, I would love to hear his reasoning behind that. On something that's actual legal, right? So, so you can't buy your own rent, rental properties. Um, yeah, I could buy uh, rental properties, but I can't be. Um, it can't be a wholesale transaction, so I can't assign a contract, or I, I can't. I, 
That's what I'm saying. I, I was I'm I'm trying to make a point here. Oh, so he's okay with you buying a property rental, right? Right. That's investing. Wholesaling is right. investing. But you know he run his business, his his shop or whatever. You know he has his rules. But to answer your question, uh, what I would do just just set up um, an LLC, right? Uh -huh. And uh, um, you would have to probably part, part add have someone as a member of that LLC also, and you all just construct, construct your uh, transactions through them, through it or whatever. And that that's that's, oh. that's that's a simple fix. That's that's a totally different entity than you. Okay, yeah, because when I got my real real estate license, it's every broker I contacted, like they had a problem with. Um, they agents being involved in wholesale transactions. So mm. the one that I chose was the most lenient out of, out of all. I wouldn't even ask. You know, yeah, I'm say, you say, are you okay with me investing? I'm not going to use the term wholesaling. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not even going to ask. I, I, who doesn't know I could do my own personal investing? I wouldn't have even asked that question. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, because mm -hmm. I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm sitting down with attorneys and title companies closing these deals. We're not doing anything. You think they're putting their livelihoods in jeopardy for you or me? Right. That, that's that's crazy. I would love to hear their explanation. Love to hear it. Why? 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 But anyway, you know, anyway, that's your, that's your answer to, uh, to that, I guess you would say, problem. Okay. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Uh, no problem at all, my man. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, this one says, when should I calculate the ARV? When should you calculate the ARV? Mm -hmm. um, after you've talked to a seller, not always, but in most cases, you could, you could do some pre-research if you're doing spot, you know, properties or whatever. But you, if you're uh, uh, getting in a lot of leads, you know, you're really only going to be comping the ones that when you talk to a seller and they actually want to sell. You know, so now um, you have a reason to because if you sit here and you uh, do a list and you try to comp all those properties and, and just you call 10 people and none of them call you back, you've wasted your time. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you don't even <laughs> worry about that part at yeah. first. Can I even get them on the phone? Secondly, yeah. do they want to sell? And then now it's time to evaluate because now if they do want to sell, we basically in a negotiation process so now i need to know the end game you know what what yeah. will it appraise for an excellent condition so and i feel like when you um go ahead and look it up you kind of get like invested yeah because so, you'll be like oh this is such a good deal yeah whatever and then if they don't pick up the phone or if they cuss you out yeah now you say it can be frustrating <laughs> <laughs> i try to save you from frustration <laughs> that's one of my primary yeah. objectives here is to save you from frustration. <laughs> All right. This one came from Daughter of Zion. Um, she said, do you feel that wholesaling is good in Chicago in this present market? Do I need a license? Okay. So, yeah. Now, Chicago is a huge city, huge market, you know, third or fourth in the country. So, there's going to be unlimited opportunities there. Now, in the state of Illinois, uh, they require you to have a real estate license to wholesale properties. So um, now, as I explained, and I'll go into it. I did it in a while, so I'll just go into it. All right. But what I would do is if I was in one of those states and um, what I would do is I would partner uh, with a real estate agent. There are a lot of struggling, struggling real estate agents, brokers, whatever they're called in Illinois. Um, and we create a, a marketing agency. And my job is is to find deals, all right? Now, we're going to leverage their license to do the paperwork, the contract. So how do you get paid on the deal to make sure you all are, are bringing the same weight to the table? So each time that you all put a property on the contract, you go to GoDaddy, G-O-D-A-D-D-Y.com, <laughs> and register that name. Uh, that street name, 123mainstreet.com, .co.net, whatever, the cheapest one. All right. I think dot, I don't know what .co is. I think there's a couple of them are under $2, right? It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even have to be a .com. Just whatever the cheapest one. I think .biz might be a $1.99. I mean, a 99 cents. 
you register the domain name, then you set up a free website on one of the platforms such as Wix.com or um, uh, Weebly. Now, there are going to be videos out there on YouTube to explain how to do that. Or you can simply get over to Fiverr and someone to gladly set up your site probably for less than 50 bucks. Because the only thing you're going to have on there is photos and video, maybe one video of the property. OK, so now you have something of value that can sell for whatever someone will pay for it. So whenever you all get ready to close on the property, say you all about to split. We'll just use a simple number. Ten thousand dollars on assignment fee is what the deal is going to be. So guess what? You invoice that title company or that closing attorney where the, the, your, the agent slash your partner has signed off on it. If they owe you that money for selling you selling them one, two, three. Mainstreet.com or 123mainstreet.biz or whatever it is. Boom. On to the next. Tell me that's illegal. It's illegal. <laughs> Prove it. It's not illegal. <laughs> all right. Um, the they buy all type of services. Oh, they buy yeah. business cards. They buy websites. They buy, they websites. buy bandit signs, you know, putting them mm -hmm. old ugly signs in the yard with they pitch on it. All that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Plus tons of stuff, marketing material. They buy Facebook ads, all of that. You would be no different. Mm -hmm. All right. This one came from the kid said on TikTok. They said, can you wholesale in a different state um, than you reside in? Yes, uh, said. And thanks for joining us from TikTok. Yes, it's called virtual wholesaling. And uh, you may want, as I said, you want to check out the video I did on Sunday about land. You can uh, access it two ways. You can uh, text the letters uh, VIP, VIP to the number 205-964-5243. It should be the second video. Or uh, you can just text the word MUD, M-U-D. And the title of the video is... Uh, why you should be wholesaling vacant infill lots two. Okay. Um, let's see. This one came from Miss Carolyn. Am I screaming? <laughs> no. <laughs> You're just passionate tonight. <laughs> um, this one came from Miss Carolyn. She said, What does JV mean? Probably something I should know, but I don't. It's okay. It's okay. Hey, um, it's okay. Um, JV, uh, Miss Carolyn is short for joint venture. Let's partner up. So people will partner on individual deals. So when you hear the term JV, they mean they're saying, Hey, let's part two wholesalers in most cases, because that's what we're talking about here. They're saying, Hey, let's partner up. Let's do a joint venture deal together. All right. Um, let's see. Does that make sense, Jesse? It does make sense. Boom. All in the making sense business. I'm a, I'm a boy was on him earlier. Oh. I'm not I'm not stealing his name. <laughs> <laughs> you were inspired. I'm inspired. <laughs> no copying you around here. <laughs> um only I, inspiration. Only inspiration. Now, Thank I, you. Hey, you see your stuff out there. I've been inspired. I didn't copy it. No, hey. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, you know, I'm, I, I, I'm remixed to put the little flip man twist on it. My little simple brain on it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, Shaq Smith said, what up, though? Detroit, where's that in what's, the house? What's going on, my man? Detroit. Um, Detroit. Somebody, property dealer. So it's not saying? somebody that say, that, uh, I heard somebody say, um, I say, well, they wouldn't say it about me. They were talking about themselves. They say, I say Detroit. And it's Detroit. Detroit. Right. Yeah. Detroit. Yeah. I think, huh. I think it depends on how or when I'm saying it. Because I feel like I say both. Yeah. Yeah. Being from the South, you don't know. You don't be saying nothing right. Yeah. <laughs> it is right. It's how we say it. <laughs> Ain't no right or wrong. Don't say nothing right. Yeah. <laughs> we got our own language. Yeah. All right. Um, Property dealer at LLC said, Flipman is the truth. Boom. Thank you, sir. Thank you for joining us. Um, let's see. This one says, will Ty partner on FSBO for sale by owners? The comps around the property has doubled. Do they apply? Okay, so uh, yeah, we'll partner on for sale by owners. That's really all we're doing. I guess they mean for sale by owners that are 
actively advertised on the internet. Um, it's not a deal breaker by no means, but um, uh, you know what? I need to add in my contract that uh, seller must remove all advertisements. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You said that earlier. I, I said that earlier. I don't know if we got enough room to put that in here, <laughs> but um, uh, that, that needs to be some verbiage in the agreement that yeah. uh, seller needs to remove all online advertisements. All right. Um, this one came from The Real Prince Goni, Goni on TikTok. They said, thank you for all of your content on YouTube. It sure is helping a lot when I started in 2018 on the wholesaling journey. All right. Oh, that's what's up. Thanks for uh, joining. I hope it, I really do hope it helps. Um, let's see. This one says, how can I close separately? Like have the seller and buyer come at different times? Um, well, you know, sometimes they'll do that, you know, with no issue or whatever. Uh, I mean, the title company or closing attorney. Uh, in a lot of cases, though, guys, don't, don't even worry about that part of it. It's not a big deal in mm -hmm. most cases, right? Everybody's getting what you agreed upon. That's one of them good problems. Yeah. Get it to that stage and we'll figure it out. Yeah. Get a buyer selling the contract. Get a buyer in the contract at a higher price. We'll figure those details out. Right. It's a problem I would lose. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's one of them good problems, man. <laughs> so, uh, and the famous words of uh, Marlo Stanfield from The Wire, one of the greatest TV shows of all time, top five. Wire, Game of Thrones. I ain't never watched Game of Thrones. You actually probably would like that. Okay. What they come on? HBO? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, you probably would like that. Okay. I might start it. Yeah. I ain't doing it. Anything. It's rare. I, I've, it's rare that somebody that'll start watching it. One, if you can get to probably an episode, because I don't know mm. what's going to happen. Some of them are a little slower than others. Mm. But when you see some that's that's real stuff that go down, that's go down on there, oh, you be just drawn in, man. What's you? Yeah. It all started because... Um, it, it, it all went, uh, went awry because this little boy saw a brother and sister, you know, that they were twins. No. And they pushed him off. He was climbing up this building. They pushed him off. Then he got paralyzed. And it just went all down here from oh, that wow. whole thing. It took six, six seasons for it to happen. But, yeah. Oh, wow. It all was bought around that for the now, most part. That's kind of how it was with the Handmaid Tale on Hulu. When I first started watching that, I was like, "Okay, this is interesting." And now I'm upset. What you What you call my girl that went to watch? Who? You know, you know. Equalizer. No, you know the one. I, you know, the one Ooh. we went to the jewelry store that time. You know? Oh, David, you're a man. yeah. Hey, that's she. She used she to talk about that, that. She used to talk about that. It's yeah. really good show. Yeah. Shout out to her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> That's just a joke. <laughs> um, I don't have anything right now. I got somebody in the gator room, Vanna Ambitious, but you have to have your mic and your camera turned on. Um, let's see. I don't have anything right now. Okay, she just turned it on. Let me see. I can go ahead and add her. Uh -oh. Hello, I'm actually hello. With, hello. How are you guys doing tonight? How's that possible? <laughs> oh, it look like that's up. What is that? What yeah, those, I'm getting ready for work, but like I wasn't gonna miss you because I I found you on Instagram. I've been watching all of these videos. I've been on your website. I paid the fifty dollars for the ebook and all of that, and then I'm just going through your videos over and over, and I kind of learn differently. Um, like I'm one of those kind of hands on and I do understand that it's a fee for the um, first flip, the one on one first flip. And I am like truly interested in that. OK. All right. Yeah, I, I do offer uh, coaching as a paid option. Um, just text me. I'll gladly uh, share the, the fee for you. But you're really going down the right path by taking advantage of all the free content. As you can see, you can ask me questions for free. Or whatever, so it just may take a little longer or whatever to get where you want to go, but it's free or whatever. So, and the you know, seven I don't know what the number to put on it, you know, seven figure knowledge for free, and there's not many places you can do that. So, 
not telling you I turned down any money. I'm, I just like to make it clear that you can get everything you really want to know for free. We're on four days a week on uh, uh, Monday through Wednesday uh, during the day around 4 p.m. Eastern. And then on tonight, on Thursday nights, around 8 p.m. Eastern, check local listings. So, uh, and then you can post your questions in the comment section of any of my YouTube videos. And I answer those on a daily basis. So, you know, um, what, what, so basically, what about, so basically pretty much what you're saying is like, or, or how I'm interpreted in it on my end is take the action. And then as I go, utilize the tools that you made available basically for free instead yes. of trying to come out of that one-on-one -on -one fee. Cause that's what it is. I just downloaded the book yesterday and I knew it was, uh, you had something else that it led me to where you could pay another hundred dollars for like all <laughs> your forms and contracts or something. Uh, yeah, the contracts are free. Okay. Yeah, you just go to dealer.com. I show. I don't know if you were on earlier, but I show it. Yeah. Um, just go to dealer.com. Just go on the agreement forms, and you know those are free or whatever. So, but you okay. you you've done your homework, so now you know you talking to me personally or whatever. So now you know what you can do to uh, access all of this free game or whatever. So now I'm I'm I, I can't I'm I'm either confused. Is, is the count is the phone upside down or yeah, what? look. So okay, I was in my room at first. But I can't be in the camera because I'm actually getting ready to go in and pick up a shift. But I'm like, I can't miss him because like oh, I needed okay. to have some type of rapport with you. Like, I don't know, to rest my conscience because I'm an entrepreneur. That's I actually weird. have my I have LLCs. I heard another caller earlier. And I'm nowhere near that part in it, but like I have, a, I actually have three of them in a care home and just some more stuff that we don't have to get off into. So I think with me, I need to go ahead and read this ebook and then get, you know, take action at this point. Okay. Uh, yeah. Text the word VIP to the number. Also, those set of videos, uh, that'll speed up the process a little bit also, you know, so. Make sure you do that and watch those videos in that playlist. Um, where are you live streaming from? I am in Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Oh, Louisville, Kentucky. Kentucky. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Boom. That's what's up. Wait, it's been a minute since we had somebody mm -hmm. from Kentucky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all. All right. No problem at all. Uh, please, please join us again. Uh, Bana. Am I saying that right? It's Vanna. My name's Savannah, but I go by Vanna. Vanna, okay. All right. That's what's up. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All right. Oh, she's in the tub. She probably got it sitting on the counter. You I know. know this in in <laughs> oh, now, she can take a phone with her, you know, and be in the car, you know what I'm saying? The YouTube should still run. Mine do. She's still getting ready, though. I know. I'm just saying she can, you know, she'll probably better catch it all, you know, yeah. from the time, oh, yeah. you know, her getting ready and, you know, mm -hmm. getting to work. She'll better catch it all. Yeah. All right. This one came from. <laughs> this one came That's from. First no, we did our boy that time had his shirt off when it came. We, we did. Hey, now. And he was in the we'll, bed, too. We'll get banned if a woman stand up here with a shirt off, wasn't it? I'm, I'm assuming so. Yeah, I think Definitely that, on that TikTok. Might not go well. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> um, somebody. I wouldn't phone. say nothing, but you know of course saying? not. You know what I'm saying? We know you ain't gonna say that. Ain't say nothing. To tease like a cheater. She, she said, "I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. He's ignorant." <laughs> 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 no, nah, you good. It's <laughs> um. <laughs> um. <laughs> all right. This one says, "Um, hi. It's my first time here. This came from Instagram. Um, can you really flip for zero dollars? Yeah." Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, keep watching. Uh, and the reason you can is that you found something of value that someone will basically pay you to move out of the way so they can buy it. That's simple. You found basically a sack of cash, and instead of you keeping the cash, that's not one of the options for you. But you can sell it for a portion of it. Basically, I don't know if that makes sense, but. But basically, you found something of value, but you don't have the money to buy it. That's, that's a better way of putting it. You don't actually have the money to buy it, but you've done a great job of negotiating a great deal. You tied up with the paperwork, and someone's basically going to buy your position or buy your paperwork so mm -hmm. they can buy it. 
So they'll give you a handsome fee and there's no limit on how much that money could be depending on the deal. So that's why you don't need any money. You just need to know how and the, and the, uh, the uh, wherewithal to actually get out there and do it because you do know how. Boom. Boom. All right. Um, this one came from M Star on YouTube. They said, "Hey Ty, question: Why do infield lots normally exist? Uh, why wouldn't there have been a home on the lot originally?" That's a good question. Very good question. Okay, so uh, it's going to be a lot of reasons, but um, re real quick, um, and I'll have a code for it mm -hmm. uh, soon. Uh, but uh, we we're going to be doing a uh, live webinar on uh, November seventeenth. Um, showing you how to use text messaging to find, well, just any deal, but mainly land and a bonus uh, for those that actually sign up for self storage or whatever. So, uh, but anyway, um, why would an infield lot exist? And so, let me just define what an infield lot is. Let me give you the official definition of it first. Please. Um, you know, I like to get down. Um, all right, an infield lot. Infield lots are those spaces left after developments and cities have already been populated. It really explains it right there. Mm. It have been left after developments and cities have already been populated. They might be empty lots or empty lots or spaces after structures were removed, such as a fire or uh, a property that hasn't been taken care of for years. The, the neighbors start complaining and the city tears it down mm. and send somebody a bill yeah. or whatever. For some, infield lots, infield lots means access to great locations and established neighborhood uh, and a, an established neighborhood. But there are a few factors. There are a few factors to consider. So I think okay. that definition explained it. OK, yeah, I yeah. do. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, Google's powerful. Man. It's powerful. I don't know what we were doing before. <laughs> like I'm, I'm like struggling. I was before all of this. Like, you how did you get up in a book? So if you wanted to do a, a get into a business, you only had two options. Either you knew someone, yeah, or it had to be in the library. So if it wasn't in the library, now I guess you could see a business going on and say, Oh, I want to do that too. Mm -hmm. But you some stuff you just can't do without some, you know what I'm saying? You're either doing it or somebody telling you to do it or, you know what I'm saying? But now with the internet, which has been around, you know, to the masses for almost 30 years now, you know, I, you know what I'm saying? You, you Don't you just feel like there's anything you want to know? You can look it up very yeah, quickly. Yeah. I mean, you could just ask Siri. Yeah, you. When, when I used to go to, I go, I go to a barber, but he only takes one person at a time mm -hmm. in his place. But when I used to go to a barber shop, one of the worst things in there is people be arguing about stuff that are facts. I say we ain't got to argue about facts. Now <laughs> opinions is one thing, but how much someone scored last night, we don't have to argue about that. that we can look that up. Yeah, I like the camaraderie. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. That makes it fun. Yeah. <laughs> I fell out of my bar. You know, you had like, act like I was a problem. Coming twice a week. Um, basically, a guaranteed. I don't you know. Mean, you been going to? Huh? No, no, not him. Uh -huh. Not him, the dude before. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. he, I hit him up one day and asked him, hey, how much longer are you going to be? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, man. Yeah. I'm like, oh, oh okay. That's, that's how that is. Okay. He was old or he was young? Um, we about the same age, whatever that is. So, yeah. But that's young. That's not old. Yeah. So, I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. Right. That's what you have for, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be doing that. <laughs> you don't like doing it. Oh, we. I. That's free money. What do you got to do? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I'm, just, I was, I'm just, just going in there, just like say, funny, just to talk. And well, a lot of times, sometimes I won't say nothing unless I was ask or whatever, unless, unless it was just between he and I or whatever. Yeah. But, you know, I just like to just that 
fellowship. You really and I guess just you were giving saying, away money. I was really just giving away. Well, see, I, I can't line my beard and stuff up right, so I might as well yeah. get it all done or whatever. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I y'all see, I look, I look, I look, I look, I look rough a little, a few days, some days. You know, I've been let a little gruff come out or whatever. So you know, hey, but it don't be looking rough. Yeah, rough. Whatever. <laughs> All right. Property dealer LLC. He said, I would love to see the lovely ladies that are behind the screen. I think we all do. A face to the voice. Every, Never. Everything is for sale. No, it's not. How are you going to put me on the... Uh... Just the scene? I mean, we put it that way. <laughs> Just the scene? <laughs> 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 hey, <laughs> hey no. we, we, can, we can quickly throw a cash app up for you, sir. No, she just a button away from being on the screen here. <laughs> now, you are you still? Oh, well, I guess that that uh, uh camera over there would be on. Yeah, I, I turned it off. Yeah. Hmm. Nah, I know Ken ain't gonna do it. So, and she got a price too. Right. <laughs> All right, let's we'll stay on topic. Miss Carolyn said, "What are the best places to put bandit signs, and do I have to ask for permission?" Don't and do the that. famous words of Fred G. Sanford, allow me to answer your second question first. Don't ask permission. <laughs> <Don't, laughs> the answer gonna be no. Do not go out there. They are all folks, all cities, them. all states, all counties have ordinances against bandit signs, <laughs> right? Yeah. Unless it's political, so you can see them everywhere. Allegedly, they might not be uh, lawful. Yes. That's an interesting way of saying that. Okay, so um, now where should you put them? Ideally, you want to do some recon, some reconnaissances. Mm -hmm. Am I saying that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, some recon. So what I mean by that, you want to go out and see where other signs already exist in your market. And sometimes you're going to have to get outside of your comfort zone. If you live in a, a suburban areas of a, a particular market, you may not see any bandit signs, right? So you have to sometimes, not always, go into um, the, where the lower price houses are located. That's normally where you can get away with bandit signs in those markets. They could be a little creative or whatever, you know, maybe all freeway access, drive throughs things of that nature. But you want to test regardless of when you decide after you've do, done your recon, you only want to put out five to 10, see how long they stay up. They stay up a week. Most of them go compound efforts because now you found an area where you can get away with them probably. Mm -hmm. All right. But the first thing you want to do is just go notice where other signs already exist. And you want to put them in the same areas because they've already done the homework for you. Right. They've already done the uh, recon for you in a sense. Yeah. Now, uh, similar to like when you see a McDonald's in a location, you best believe a Burger King, possibly a Wendy's or whatever, they coming right behind them because they have the same demographics, especially the Burger King and McDonald's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, you're going to normally see those cluster together. So. Uh, someone on Instagram said, if the sign has email or a phone number on them, how do you avoid getting fined or posting? This? Basically, how do you avoid getting in trouble then? On a bandit sign? Mm -hmm. Well, you wouldn't have a bandit, you wouldn't have an email address there. Yeah. Period. Right. Um, now a phone number, there's so many third party phone number services out there, it wouldn't have to be your number, or you know, so it then won't have to be attached to you or right. whatever. So that that's that's not that difficult. Now they might try to hook a hook, hook a crook you and then get you to come out to a house acting like they got a house to sell and say. Here's a fine, Mr. Gotcha. Taylor. Got you. <laughs> Better have my money. <laughs> we got enough time to do that. Uh, plenty of folks, man. man. I told you I seen a dude over there in Roebuck, dude. That dude was in anger pulling down signs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But Roebuck is a place where you, you need signs. Yeah, you can get down over there normally. For real, yeah. Because it's a lot of ragged ass. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Uh -huh. This one came from Victoria Day from Facebook. First question from Facebook. How can I access your scripts? Uh, how can you ask, access the scripts? Text the word script to the number. Uh, also, if you, uh, if you need a, uh, since you're going to be cold calling, text the word dialer to the number also, and that'll help put your, um, your dialing <laughs> efforts on ste steroids. But text the word script to the number. You can access uh, those scripts. 
Um, I hadn't said this today. Today, uh, contract, text to word contract. This is the one page contract I've been personally using since 2003 and uh, been given away since 2008. You can use the same contract, access it for free on dealulator.com. I say that a lot. No one should not know that, right? Yeah. And then also in that video, I show you how to fill it out for sellers and buyers. We have one for land also. There's no excuse. There's none. All right. Um, I don't know. What was the first guy that came on the Gator Room name? Uh, making sense. Yeah, making sense. I don't know if you're still on here, but Mr. Robert Towton, he said he wanted to see if he could hook up with you because he's in Cleveland also. So y'all should message each, each other. Okay. Uh, let me see. This one says, hello, Flip family. I texted the information this morning for the Dayton, Ohio property. Did you have a chance to review it yet? Dayton, Ohio. Uh, what What's your area code? Okay. Um, let's see. On TikTok, they're asking questions about skip tracing. Um, they said, I found a commercial property for sale by owner, but I have no idea how to run comps. I'm not sure how accurate prop stream is. He said a commercial property? Mm -hmm. you, you won't be able to do it that way with commercial property. I'm assuming it's a like a structure there. You can't do it like that with commercial in most cases. Not especially now you the prop stream is not really set up that way. Now there is another tool. Um, and a video that I did, if you text XI, like the letter X is in X-Men and the letter I is in intangibles, mm -hmm. uh, XI to two oh, no, uh, intelligent, yeah, uh, you're, X you're doing I, too much. yeah, text the letters <laughs> XI to 205-964-5243 and watch that video, and that'll help you with that, okay. <laughs> Um, what do you use Different to skip now. trace? Okay, so on the skip tracing, if you watch the video, if you if you watch the video by well, two ways, text the word mud M U D mm. to the number. That's going to be an option to skip trace with, right? Or if you go to a VIP and watch the second video that's currently there on land, I go through skip tracing process because once you find it an actual vacant lot. Now you need to know who owns it. I'll show you how to do that, but also how to skip trace it right there on the spot. All right. I think this name is Gui or Guy Anders. Um, they said, Ty, I've sent pictures of the property and info to partner. What am I doing wrong to partner? Well, as me being the person who answers the emails, let me know what the address is on the house or, uh, you know, but also, make sure you send over a copy of the purchase and sales agreement between you and the owner. And if we did email you back and say that, um, you know, something was wrong with it, it could be the asking price is too high. Um, it could be no good comps in the area. It's a number of reasons why the property might not work out. And then, you know, ultimately we'll decide not to work with you. But, you know, keep trying. I, I, we definitely want to. We want to partner with you. OK, it's not that. Um, let's see. Oh, somebody said I did great tonight. Thank you. Boom, boom, boom. Appreciate um, it. Um, let's see. Uh, Eric Carney, that's our friend from Facebook. He said, yeah. Are you celebrating No Shave November? That wouldn't work out too well for me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? You know, they just went. Uh, so last month was 20 years ago that my friend mentioned wholesaling to me but he mm. was, well well creative real estate investor last wasn't month? Really, yeah last month wow. that, that was october 20 20 uh, 2002 we should have did something for yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. do you have a little bag and be like wow i can't believe i've been doing this for 20 years um yeah yeah i do you know and, and not, not in the way you think not in a positive light <laughs> oh really <laughs> no why? Because there's a lot of left a lot of money on the table. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, you know. I mean, but it's been a lot of yeah, way know, more wins than losses. Yeah, I can't complain yeah. about it, but you know, just still you know, feel. So. Okay, be grateful now. Oh yeah, oh, been actually self-employed since 2006. So that's been it's going on 17 years next yeah. year. That's a long time. So I, I'm almost. 
I'm almost at the point that I've worked for myself long and I work for somebody else. Which oh. that's great. I'm probably I'm probably there because that was in I was 35. So yeah, because I yeah, do I count working before high school? Because I did work I, a little I bit. So. I guess so. I guess yeah, so. I got to count too. Them checks cash too, didn't it? Right. I worked in a factory one summer. We would make we were uh packing JC Penny clothes. Oh, how was that? Terrible. Was it hot in there? Uh uh, I wouldn't say that. It, mm -hmm. it wasn't really, really that. Uh, but the, the lady that owned the company mm -hmm. was a you-know-what. Shut um, your mouth. Oh, my Lord. She want her stuff done. And I was terrible at this dude that he was like, <laughs> we, we was we, we was still in high school. It was like a summer job, you know. Um, he, he could go. I don't know how he all he was doing is talking the whole time, but his production was better than mine or whatever. Um, and she used to be just on me. Or whatever. I mean, what you got to do? Fold the stuff up? You, you had to put it in a bag. You had to fold it and then you had to put it in a bag and seal it or whatever. Mm -hmm. If I sent that to China or Mexico, so it cost me, people like me, huh? I'll never work in the factory again. Well, I wouldn't, I, I can't, I will never say what I won't do. I never do. You know, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to say it. Oh, okay. Huh? I bind so it you, up. So you got some options going on I don't have. <laughs> she <is. laughs> she <is. laughs> nope. oh, <laughs> no <laughs> no all right um i rep mike they said what's the most effective way to market a deal on social media um you know what um a student in the uh the private coaching that i have um she uh found her first two deals by Simply just networking with other wholesalers and Facebook groups. Found the buyers and the sellers that way. I mean, the, mm. the, the deal and the buyers that way. That's it. Yeah. She just basically just was posting, comment, hey, if you got any deals, send them my way. You know, I got buyers. She networked with some buyers, found, you know, four or five good, strong buyers, and boom. You know, that's it. You got to let yourself be known and uh, see if you – but you need, you need to be able to, to perform – or whatever, and know what you're doing, that goes a long way. Because a lot of people out there still don't know what they're doing, but they may be lucky enough to put a deal on the contract, but have no idea what to do after that. Mm -hmm. Tons of people like that. Let's see. This one came from Allison Martin. Um, she said, I'm going for my first deal. I have to use a realtor. I know you said you don't want newbies to deal with a realtor, but I'm in Illinois. It's an apartment building. <laughs> well, let me let me say this. So that's not a problem if it's a great deal. Mm -hmm. What makes this a great deal? Was it listed already? You know, I would leave, I would love to hear the numbers on it. Um, how did you arrive? Um, um okay. Uh, how how did you arrive at that number? So all right, this one came from Money Motivated Times 100 on Ooh, Instagram. I like that. They said, that's what are you doing to prepare for the upcoming intentional economic crash of 2023? The intentional economic crash of 2023. Um, that's interesting. Mm. I'm not doing anything. Um, see... I look at it from a different, different standpoint is that because the masses um, feel like it's going to be a significant is issue, then I go the opposite direction. There's going to be a tremendous opportunity. Unless they make real estate free, there's going to still be opportunity. And normally there's more of it. <laughs> they guys definitely ain't going to do that. You know what I'm saying? They're not going to do that. <laughs> If that happens, we have more issues to worry about than that. Right. We got a lot of issues to worry about. Yeah. Like we're like what Ken was trying to tell me that stuff the other day. Oh, Ken, yeah. Ken, if that stuff happens, we have bigger issues. Yeah. They are not going to let their money not be valuable. That's what they go to wars for. We will have bigger problems. Talking about you ain't going to accept cash. Okay. That's fine. Now, a lot of places don't do it anyway. Like, when I went to um, uh, foot the uh, UAB game, the first game when they played A&M, mm -hmm. you know, at the concession stand, they didn't take cash. 
Now, oh, well, when you go to the show, they think they don't take they don't cash. They don't take cash there either. Yeah. Um, I know that they sort of started doing that a lot during COVID. But it got to be saying, backed by cash. You yeah. better have that in the bank somewhere or a credit card. Mm-hmm. And that bill got to be paid with cash. You know what I'm saying? They might not accept it, but it's being backed by it. Damn sure need it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, but now, I know it gets deeper than on Biden's side. Well, you know the dollar ain't got no... Ah, okay. Well, y'all tell you what. All the money you get your hands on and send it to me. Right. I'll show you what kind of value it has. <laughs> all right. Show me. Anyway. Um, let's see. This one came from Dennis Williams. He said, when getting the ARV, can I always multiply the square foot of a subject with the uh, price per square foot of the latest sale comp house to get it? Woo! Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, well, technically, that's what you're doing anyway, to answer the question or whatever. That That's you're answering your question. Yes. Yes. Just watch the videos. ARV. I think I got a wrench. Yeah. Uh, just watch this video right here. ARV. Text the letters ARV to the number. And this video will explain. All right. Do you have a video for comping land? Um, uh, Sort of. Because it just, I've been fortunate enough to do deals. I just try to go through it a little bit, but it's sort of just hard to explain this way. You want to use as much data as you possibly can. Let me just let me just simplify this. The best way to do that is figure out, okay, whatever zip code the property in or county may just can uh, maybe enough data in the zip code. Uh, and the zip codes around it. See what real estate agents or brokers are doing a lot of land listings. And just reach out to them to get their opinion. The more you do that, the more you go. They're going to elaborate in most cases. Reach out and say, hey, I'm thinking about buying this land here. Um, we're going to buy it. We're going to probably flip. We're going to need an agent because you got to put mm-hmm. something in it for them or whatever. What would you pay for it? At, and you, uh, what, what would be a value for it? You know, so you know, per acre or uh, however they're going to break it down. That's going to be your best route. Yeah. Um, uh, Instagram, the X, um, is this program only for wholesaling or is it also to help us own investment property ourselves? Um, yeah, I don't really get into if they're talking about owning rental properties or anything like that. Really not my lane as far as the education. I understand it and done some of it or whatever, but uh, not. we really just talk about wholesaling because uh, if you got the resources to actually buy properties, then you know, that's a different conversation or whatever. But I still recommend start out wholesaling because it teaches you how to find great real estate deals that you now can, whenever you do buy your rental property, you get them at a significant discount or whatever that you can leverage into more money later on. So, um, and it makes it more difficult to lose on those properties because you bought it right. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, um, I guess we, we can top it. Yeah, we've been rolling hard here, man. And I don't want the camera to get hot. Yeah, you're right. Uh, so the topic, topic. How I much time? I need to put it up. Yeah, let's put it up. So, and oh, here's know what that is. Better have my money. Who knows who? Who knows who? That's where that's from out there in the chat, real quick. While I'm uh, answering this question. Uh, so anyway, so uh, how much time should you give a cash buyer to close? Well, as part of that comes with uh, when you're identifying or you're dealing with a real cash buyer or not. Um, you, the words that you want to hear come out of their mouth is when you ask them, um, how fast can you, how can, how fast can you close? They should say as soon as we can get a clear title. Now, uh, ideally, you're getting your property. We're talking about houses here. You're getting your properties under contract 30, 45 days. So you're really only probably trying to get your buyer 10, 14 days max. 10 days should be more than enough unless they have hard money or some type of private lending involved and their process takes longer. But if it's a cash buyer that doesn't have one of those, not using that source to purchase, you know, 10 days should really be enough. Unless there's a title issue, which that's both that's out of both of y'all's control, even though you can help to probably uh, repair it or whatever. But um, 
10 days should be enough. 14 is not out of the question. Um, and then their inspection period, maybe one or two days max or whatever, because you're on the clock. So you can't give them as, as, nearly as much time as you have to close your deal. And then it also depends on how much time you have left. You know, you may be in day, uh, you only have a, a 30 day contract. You may be in day 25. So something needs to happen quickly. If you have a buyer say, oh yeah, I'm ready. I mean, you all agree on the price, do the paperwork. They need to be closing that five days. Now most sellers will give you a few more days, if not a, a lot longer, but don't assume that. Mm -hmm. So hopefully I answered that question. A question. All right. Okay. I'm just going to read these last few ones on okay. uh, YouTube. Um, this one says, um, okay, after talking with title companies, do they charge you for anything else or is it just the signing day? Uh, say that again. Do the title companies charge you for anything else or is it just the signing day? Um, well, no. The, the Well, the title company... Uh, depending on what their role is, they're just doing a title search and title insurance. They're going to have their fees on that. But if they're closing it, then it's going to be the whole shebang as far as cost to close it, close the deal. OK, um, Allison, this is the one from Chicago. She's or not Chicago, Illinois, rather. She said that the apartment building is not listed. Her friend is selling her apartment building and it needs to be gutted out. Oh, that's beautiful. Hit me up. Let's talk. <laughs> All right. Um, this one says. Text me, Allison. Let me, let me just reference your friend is selling an apartment building. Who is a realtor? That's that's what she said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boom. Um, this one says, "Hello, Footman. Is there any other skip tracing apps that are more accurate than True People Search? I use it, and I get a lot of you have the wrong number." Well, yeah, uh, that's what I'm saying. If you watch the, uh, if you text the word "mud" m u d to the number, that's going to be one option. If you go to text to flip, if you text the word text to the number, T-E-X-T, T-E-X-T, -E that's going to be another option. All right, all right. Um, this one came from Kingdom Living Design. He said, hey, Flip, I have a question about a cash buyer. She's interested in houses that have a 300K ARV. Um, would you be able to help clarify what I should be looking for? She wants specifically single families. Okay, so say that again now. He has a cash buyer that they want houses that have a 300K ARV. Basically, what should he be looking for? She wants single family homes. Um, well, well, if, if they're looking for a specific type of deal, then you just got to feed it to them or whatever. The numbers have to work. They're trying to be in the 300K range. Um, depending on repairs, you know, you're going to have to discount, but that's what the calculator is for. That, uh, that offer on dailylater.com. You just have to run the numbers. You know, you have to know your ARV and all of that, uh, but you just have to run your numbers. And hopefully uh, you find something discounted enough that'll feed that buyer, but you don't want to solely depend on what that buyer wants. You just want to get out there and find great deals. And if it fits into their, their buy box, then you roll with it. All right. Um, this one says, if I want the coaching, do I text the number on the screen going through the videos daily? Um, if you want coaching, should you text the number on the screen? Uh, yeah, if I, I'll, I'll send you over the, uh, the pricing and the options on that. Okay. And then the Dayton, Ohio zip code on their property was 45417. Um, remember somebody said no, I said the area code. What's their area code? They're like their phone number if they if they reached out to me directly. Oh, yeah. You probably said zip code. That's why they said Yeah, well, I might have said you're right. Um, let's see. Was, Is there any smart. other way to send um Kelly potential land deals? Should they send it to D later? Or um well, um she, I think she gave instructions on how to do that. I think um they said they don't have Instagram though. Uh, get it. It's free. Yeah. Are you banned? If you're not banned, <laughs> you need to get it. It's free. It's free, dog. You're not serious about business in this day and age if you don't have access to social media networks. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, LinkedIn. You're not serious. Period. That's what eyeballs are at. Networking is powerful.
That's why you're looking at me right now. Now you've been banned. I get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We've been <laughs> the Swiss been turned off on us, us a few times, you know. Right. But they don't say that. Uh, I'm trying to think. If not on Instagram, I don't want to say send it to do you later because she might not want her thing sent there, but that's the only other thing I can think of. Yeah. Uh, that person's area code is A64. Okay. Uh, oh, and then this is the last one. Someone asked where um, Andrea and Renikia is tonight. Um, Both had uh, some stuff they had to do or whatever, so they should be back next week. All right, and then this one says, "Hi, Flip Man. Don't forget the Meetup app for networking." Um, yeah, I don't know about that one, but you know, but yeah, that one too. Okay, cool. That one too. That's it. That's it. That's All right, guys. Show. So if you didn't get your questions answered, post them in the comment section of any video, and I answer those on a daily basis, or I try, but I keep up with it for the most part. Um, again, M U D. You need to start looking at land, M-U-D. Text the letters M-U-D to the number. Text VIP for this free training, a list of videos. Make sure you like, share, follow, subscribe to the YouTube channel, tap the little bell, select all, and you'll be alerted whenever we go live and when we post new videos on YouTube. So with that being said, we'll see you, I guess, on Monday. Yep. Boom. We're out. Text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. You text me and I'll text you back. Text me and I'll text you back. TikTok, you don't stop. I will help you make your paper stack. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at now? 205-964-524-399. Yep, yep. 205-964-524-399.